Hey guys, this is Andrew from the Minecraft tutorial. Um, today we're going to be talking a little, bit, a little bit about Minecraft's interface. So on this main screen, this is a screen that pops up right when you start the game, you'll see three options. Single player, multiplayer, and options. Um, play tutorial level is blacked out because it hasn't been created yet. Um, a reminder, this game is an alpha. It's being updated weekly. So uh, we'll be looking out for that soon. So let's go to options. On the very top, you'll see two options, music and sound. Those are both volume. Sound is the sound effects, music is the music. Um, you'll see inverted mouse. Uh, this is, if you push your mouse away from you, you'll look down. And if you pull it towards yourself, you'll look up. Uh, sensitivity, this is how fast your person turns. View bobbing, this is uh, when you walk, your screen will bounce if you have this on. If you turn it off, your screen won't bounce. Uh, render distance, this is how far you can see. Um, if you're having issues running Minecraft, you might want to turn it down to normal, short, or tiny. Um, 3D Anaglyph. This is the red and blue glasses. If you have some, you can play this game in 3D. Uh, limit frame rate. This holds the frame rate at a certain number so that it won't go past it, so it won't take up too much of your computer space. Uh, difficulty. There are four options. Peaceful, easy, normal, and hard. I like to keep it on normal. The graphics. There are fast, fan fast and fancy. Uh, it's exactly what it says. If you want your game to be fast, go to fast. If you want it to be fancy, go to fancy. Um, let's look into the controls. Uh, these are just your normal controls. Move forward, W, back, S, left, A, right, D, your WSAD. Uh, to jump, you press space. To sneak, you press left shift. To drop the item that you currently are on, you press Q. Your inventory is I. To chat on multiplayer is T. And to change your render distance is F. All right, so we're gonna go make, we're gonna go make a level now. So we're gonna go to single player. These are the worlds you can choose from. You get five worlds to play. Um, you can see I've used my first four worlds. Uh, we're going to go to the fifth one, the empty one. So let's go ahead and make our world. Now, when I say make our world, that might sound weird to some of you. Um, actually, these worlds are randomly generated. Uh, Notch did a really good job. Notch is the creator of the game. He did a really good job on the random generator. Um, you'll only find some minerals deep underground, and there's a nice top layer of dirt over everything, well, almost everything. The sand only appears around water. Just stuff like that. So uh, here we're gonna be able to see the world being generated right in front of our eyes. So let's, let's watch as it happens. Ooh, that's a big tree. Dang, wow, got a forest. All right, so you can see the world back there being generated. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about our interface on the in-game interface. So uh, take a look at the bottom of your screen you'll see two things first of all you have hearts that is your life there are bad guys in this game they only come out at, they only come out at night so we're safe right now but if you get attacked or if you jump too far you will lose life and once you die you drop all of your items and come back to this spot that I am standing on right now which is your home it's your spawn point for every time you die so uh you'll also see a bar across the bottom of your screen um, this is actually the inventory that you can use it's kind of a skill bar um, let me show you 
So I'm going to pick up this piece of sand. And you see it's appeared on the bottom uh, bar. So I can switch by using my scroll or my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0 buttons. Alright, so now we're going to press I. And you'll see a, a inventory screen has popped up. Um, to the left of this inven of your your this is your person, Hamy. To the left of him, you will see uh, four boxes that look like a body. You got the head, the body, the pants, and the shoes. And uh, so these are your armor slots. To the right of your person, you'll see a crafting square. We'll talk that. We're t we'll talk about that in my next video. You'll also see a box next to the crafting square. We'll talk about that in my next video. Under your person, you will see a large box that is your inventory space, kind of like a backpack. And then at the very bottom is the skill bar that I've already talked about. It's not really a skill bar, it's an inventory bar. So uh, let's back out of that. I'm going to teach you a little bit about the controls of the game. So you see I have a sand block in my hand because I picked one up. If I use my WSAD keys, I can walk around. I'll walk over here and right click and I'll put down the block that I just picked up. All right, if you want to pick up a block, you left click and hold it down. And you see I've picked up a block. So each block has uh, different properties. Uh, for example, the wood block, if I go over here and hit the wood block, it takes a lot longer to get it out than a dirt block or a sand block and also if I were if I were to dig down I'll end up at a stone block this is a stone block uh, it would take me forever to mine this with my hands so I'm not going to it's never smart to mine down also sand when you take out the for, well, watch this. When, you, when I take out the block below the sand, it'll fall into place. With a dirt block, it doesn't fall. They are they stay in the air. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, please you can you're will you're free to message me or comment below. I'll do my best to answer. And if it's a good enough question, I'll make a tutorial video over it. Um, in my next video, we'll be talking about crafting items. Thanks, and have a nice day.